hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel as always i trust you are doing absolutely fantastic in today's video i'm going to be sharing another scholarship opportunity and this scholarship opportunity is based in sweden but before i go into the details i would just like to share a word of encouragement you know to every one of you out there whose plans include you know traveling outside of the country for a fully funded undergrad or graduate degree program as you may know i've been in your shoes before and you know i can tell you this for a fact right that the journey towards achieving your goal might be a long one or a short one. Whichever category you fall under, the most important thing is to be consistent. The truth is nobody really knows you know, which scholarship opportunity they will be selected for. And because of that, you would need to keep sending in you know, applications for different scholarships, right? Um, regardless of the rejection emails or love letter, as some people would call it, you know, that you've received, right? So the most important thing is to be consistent and you know, hopefully very soon, you would be selected for one or more you know scholarship opportunities abroad so i hope this helps you know every one of you out there after this short break you know i will be discussing more about this scholarship opportunity stay tuned This scholarship is called the Swedish Institute Scholarship for Global Professionals, all right? And it's for working class professionals who are looking to study, you know, one of the eligible courses, you know, in any of the Swedish university. Now, there are a couple of things that your scholarship covers, all right? Number one, it covers your full tuition fee payment, which will be paid, you know, by the institute directly to your school. You would also be getting, you know, a monthly living expenses, you know, to a tune of 11,000 Swedish krona. All right you would also be insured you know against you know any form of accident or sickness and you'll be given a one-time payment which would serve as your travel grant now if you're a scholar from bangladesh bolivia brazil cambodia cameroon colombia ecuador egypt ethiopia gambia ghana guatemala honduras indonesia jordan kenya liberia malawi morocco Myanmar, which is Burma. Nepal, Nigeria, Pakistan, Peru, Philippines, Rwanda, South Africa, Sri Lanka, Sudan, Tanzania, Tunisia, Vietnam, Zambia or Zimbabwe. The scholarship includes a travel grant of 15,000 Swedish krona for the entire study period. Now, if you're from Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Georgia, Moldova and Ukraine, the scholarship includes a travel grant of 11,000 Swedish krona for the entire study period. Now, after you're done, you know, with your study, you would also be, you know, admitted, you know, into the Swedish Institute for Alumni Network. There are a couple of things that this scholarship does not cover, all right? It does not cover, you know, um, the cost of bringing, you know, your family members down to Sweden. Um, it doesn't cover your admission fees that you would pay to university admissions, which I'm going to talk about in a bit. It doesn't cover any form of extension, you know, to the scholarship period. And it also does not cover any change that you make, you know, to your study program. In terms of the required documents that you have to submit, you know, for your scholarship application, um, the Scholarship Institute is actually very strict with respect to the documents you would submit and the format of the documents you would submit and what that means is that they have a specific template that you must follow for these documents all right you would have to download you know the template for your resume for your motivation letter for your letters of reference and for your proof of work and leadership experience and of course you would also have to submit you know your international passport as well as part of the scholarship application process right um if you fail to submit any of these documents you would be ineligible for the scholarship there are other things you would need to take note of as part of your application process right for example your resume like i mentioned earlier must be in line or follow the swedish institute prescribed templates all right for the 2023 to 2024 academic session it must not be more than three pages if it exceeds three pages, the additional page or pages will not be considered or evaluated as part of your application. All right. Now, for your work experience, um, you would need to also demonstrate that you have a minimum of 3,000 work hours of professional experience. 
Now these work hours can be, you know, either you working as a full time or as a part time or even as a freelancer in up to three organizations. Now, if you're an applicant from Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Georgia, Moldova or Ukraine, priority would be given to candidates who have significant work experience, you know, in the social and environmental sustainability industry, in the civil society or public sector industry as well. Now, if you're an applicant in other countries apart from, you know, these countries I just called, preference would be given to, you know, candidates who have significant work experience in industries that are in line with the 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Now, as part of your work experience, you would also need to demonstrate that, you know, you have significant leadership experience. And this can be either, you know, from your previous or your current, you know, work environment or you working with an NGO, for example. So how do you apply for the scholarship? The first thing that needs to be done is for you to submit an application, you know, for an admission into one or more eligible, you know, master's degree program of a Swedish university, right? So Sweden operates a uniform admission system called universityadmissions.se. It is on this website that you'll be able to make, you know, an application for an admission with the exception of Stockholm School of Economics, you know, which has its own separate admission process and admission platform. Now, if you're applying to any other school apart from the Stockholm School of Economics, you would need to do that on, you know, the universityadmissions.se website. And the beautiful thing is that you can apply, you know, for up to four eligible master's degree program in one application. Now, once you're done, you know, submitting your application and you've made the necessary payment, you would be given an eight digit application number. Now, you would have to keep that because that is what you would use, you know, to apply for the scholarship. The next stage would then be to apply for the scholarship itself, which would run between 10th of February to 28th of February 2023. And provided you have all the documents I mentioned earlier and in the required format, you should be able to submit, you know, your scholarship application by that time. The next step is that the Swedish Institute will then evaluate, you know, everybody's application to check that, you know, they've complied with, you know, the instructions for the scholarship. Now, after that, the university admissions would then, you know, send a notification to every applicant whether they've been selected for an admission or not. If you've been selected for an admission, congratulations. It means that you are still eligible to, you know, get the scholarship. But if you've not been admitted, you know, to any of the schools, then unfortunately you would no longer be considered for the scholarship. The final stage is that after the, you know, university admissions have released the admission list, the Swedish Institute then release, you know, the list of scholars for the next academic session. So that's it on today's video, guys. Um, I hope you would apply for the scholarship if it interests you. Now, I know it's a lot of information to digest at one sitting. And so I have included the links, you know, for the university admissions and the scholarship application in the description box below. So please do well to check them out. And if you have any question whatsoever, you can drop it in the comment section and I would respond at my earliest convenience. As always, I wish you the very best and I hope you're selected for the scholarship. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you and see you in my next video.